22 craziest fan mail sent to celebs. 22. Honestly, don't you two read? Emma Watson, aka Hermione Granger, has received a number of Bibles since she began acting in the Harry Potter films. Many believe the films to be unchristian, and Watson has a collection of around 20 of them. 21. Music to my ears. Perhaps this fan mail, not so much. Jared Leto, frontman for 30 Seconds to Mars, receives quite a lot of fan mail, but definitely the strangest thing he has ever had sent to him was a human ear. Included in the gift, for want of a better word, was a note saying, are you listening? He clearly was and ended up wearing the ear on a necklace because what else are you meant to do with it? 20. Rest in peace. Alice Cooper thought he was unwrapping an adorable little coffin as a joke, but was pretty horrified to discover a tiny cat heart inside the coffin. He says he immediately called the police because, seriously, what did that gift even mean? Was it a threat? A warning? A joke? You can't take chances these days, and of course, it can't have been good wherever they got the heart from. 19. The Creative Flow Who knows, maybe this person was so chuffed with their artwork, they had to send it to the person who inspired it. Taylor Swift once received a shell of a dead turtle, which is weird enough, but the shell had her face painted on it. I'm guessing she didn't appreciate that bit of art. 18. Bite me. That's the kind of thing Kesha would say, isn't it? She's also had her fair share of peculiar mail received, but none as strange as the human teeth that were sent to her a few years ago. She received over a thousand teeth and made a bra, earrings, and a headdress. The only difference here is that she asked fans to send them, and they did. 17. You've got mail. This is mail you would rather not have, though. The Jonas Brothers were once the recipient of a dead shark in a tube. What happened to the days of scented knickers being sent to celebs? 16. I've got you. Under my skin. Zac Efron really has some die-hard fans. One of them even went as far as to send Efron a piece of her skin. He says, it's hilarious because you don't know how to handle it. You'll never get around it. I love all my fans. 15. Don't stop till you get enough. Toothpicks. Yep, toothpicks. When Robert Pattinson shared that he was chewing on toothpicks to help him quit smoking, well, that was a mistake, because after that, he literally received thousands of sharp little sticks. Ironically, he could buy a billion of his own toothpicks if he wanted. Hope he's managed to keep it up. 14. You better believe it. I shuddered to think of some of the intimate items Justin Bieber must have received, so we'll keep this one tame. A family posted a plastic golf club to Justin, and each member of the family signed the club. Justin was really perplexed by it, and as he said, why is it signed by your family? Are you guys famous or something? My thoughts are, awesome family, great sense of humor. 13. Have a baby. Remember Dolly Parton's song Jolene? That song must have influenced a mom so much that she actually hand-delivered her baby to Dolly Parton's home. In Dolly's words, we came home one day and there was a baby in a box at our gate with a note in it. The note said, my name is Jolene. My mama has left me here and she wants you to have me. Of course, we all freaked out. Dolly didn't keep the baby but contacted social services right away. 12. Say it with flowers. Whatever happened to saying it with flowers? How gross is this? K-pop star Taesyeon received a love letter written in menstruation blood. Have a look at the letter for yourself. I think this fan needs a little help. Wouldn't you agree? 11. It's not you, it's me. This is Cliff Kingsbury, who is a Texas Tech football coach. He's pretty good looking and has a number of female fans, no harm in that. However, it would seem that one was living this imaginary life with him. A 32-year-old mom of two sent him a letter, a sexy photo of herself, and a mix of her workout songs. In the letter, she wrote that the coach was too good looking for her, she wasn't coping being a coach's wife anymore, and thanks for the memories. He didn't know her from a bar of soap. 10. Wanted, dead or alive In this case, alive would have been so much better. Avril Lavigne once received a rabbit corpse in the post. The reason behind it? We'll never know. 9. Message unclear So why did One Direction receive tampons in the mail once? Is someone trying to send them a message? Who knows? But that, along with pretty legit looking marriage certificates for each band member, ranks pretty high on the weird list. 8. The Real Deal While we're chatting about One Direction, Niall Horan was once gifted a live hermit crab via the post. I'm guessing he's happy it was a live hermit crab and not any other kinds of crabs. 
7. Survival of the fittest Trust Pink to receive something as weird as this. A survival kit, but not just any survival kit, one that included a 16-page letter from a cult requesting that she goes and lives with them and explaining that she will need the kit to get there. 6. Because why not? Beyonce once received a jar of Vaseline from a fan. I don't even want to know the reasons behind that one. 5. Perfect Cure A fan was once watching an interview featuring Norman Reedus and she thought he looked a little depressed. And she should have stopped thinking right because after she continued thinking, she thought it would totally cheer him up to receive a breast implant. Well, did it. I'm sure it made him grin. He now uses it to cradle his bone. 4. I hear you. Daniel Radcliffe has received a huge amount of fan mail over the years, which included some pretty freaky photographs and also a plastic ear. At least this one wasn't real. He said it was rubbery and you were meant to play a joke on mates by pretending there was something wrong with your ear and then it basically falls out into your hand. Turns out it was a well-known joke by a famous Japanese comedian. 3. I put a spell on you. This one is just totally freaky. The Wanted once received voodoo sex dolls. No need to go further there. 2. Lucky Guy They call her Loud Michelle and she's a huge fan of guitarist Steve Vai. Steve received a video from Michelle singing happy birthday to him in the nude and then blowing out the candles with her nether regions. 1. Worst gift ever Bjork had a terrible experience with a stalker once and this guy actually sent her a letter bomb. Thank goodness Scotland Yard intercepted the letter because it would have exploded in her face had she opened it. They managed to find the man who sent it but he had already committed suicide. Mm -hmm.